road into the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free Tonight is taco night. Can you believe it? We're eating in tonight. Chief Buddha Buddha Brian. Chief Munya Munya Machine. Ground beef is thawed out. This is the ground beef we got from that farm in Door County. Grass fed, grass finished. The real reason we're on a diet. We usually have the bathroom door open and one person steps in. Taco time. I will talk about it. I will. They're not taken away by person. Something new on the new Strata Ion, the shade covers for the front windows. This actually came with a shade cover for this vent fan. It's really easy to install. They have little magnets that go on the back side of this flange, so you, you line up your cover with this flange here, and then you put the magnets all on the back side, and you tape them down with painter's tape, or I used uh, packing tape, which sticks really well. Um, but one thing, when you're taking these four screws out, this back flange, it doesn't want to come out because of this here. And this doesn't come off too easily. So I just left it on there at an angle, put all the magnets all the way around, and I was able to slide the magnets in on the back side. Really simple, all you need is a screwdriver. It comes with the magnets, it comes with little instructions. Phillips screwdriver, like I said, is all you need, and, and the tape, and that's it. Get it put back in place, uh, put the screws back in. Should be good to go. Today we're in Bronte Creek Provincial Park. Now these pedestals here, sometimes you just never know where they're going to be. This one just happened to be in a good area. But sometimes you'll go around on some of these sites and the pedestal will be like way out by the road or on clear over on the opposite side of where you need it. So you have to drag the cord underneath, you have to have an extension cord. Um, so. Make sure you have an extension cord for places like this. And you have to make your reservations online or in person. You can't make them over the phone. It's time for us to get on the road. Well, we've got some plans of places we gotta be, a lot to do in these places that we go. A lot of things we haven't been able to see here. It's hard to get everything. Toronto is very big, lots to do. And yeah, we've got a lot of plans of places that we're wanting to go before we need to be at the Hershey RV show. So if we wanna do that, we gotta keep moving. Uh, another thing about these sites, they're electric only, so no water and no sewer at the site, which is no big deal for us. For, not, yeah. Our tanks last probably, what, would you say three to four days Yeah. before we dump? Yeah. And they're not full. <laughs> right. We're always dumping them at oh, anywhere from 50 to 80 I mean, if it's the long, longer time frame, then yeah, they're going to be close to being full. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. So for flushing the black tank, since I have these quick connects, even on the black tank here, I keep one of these handy for, I'm touching this hose, great. I keep one of these uh, handy 
I usually use one glove because I'm only touching thing, the hose and everything with one hand. Then I thought, well, I should show this. What do I do? I grab the hose with my other hand. I keep one of these extra handy so that I can just screw this on real quick. You don't have to really tighten it too tight. Use that to flush the tank whenever you have hoses like that. Problem is, some of these dump stations don't always have these. They have a, a cut-off hose or something. But you don't have to imp you don't have to flush your black tank every single time. You don't have to do that. It'll be just fine. You can do it like every third time or so. Um, but this is handy when you have the quick connects. Just keep one of these on. You screw it on and pop it on. That way you don't have to t untighten this one. Take it off. Pull up here and get some fresh water. Ready to go. Are ya? I am too. Things we like about this park, uh, Bronte Creek Provincial Park, which is like a state park back in the US. The showers were pretty decent once you got used mm -hmm. to the touch button and it's auto temperature. So you can't even adjust any of the temperature, but it seemed okay. They had a little laundry area also that in each building. So each section with the camping areas, they had in that same building, they had three showers that are private, private doors you go mm -hmm. into, and then a little laundry room that uh, has just one washer and one dryer. But in US dollars, it would be about $2.25, but it was um, $3 each. And you had to use loonies, which are their dollar coins, if right. you're not familiar with what loonies are can't use quarters, can't get right. change there. We had to go up and get uh, exchange to get loonies from the uh, front office, the, the guard gate or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And another thing about the showers, uh, he, like he mentioned, there's three. Well, the center one is a big handicap one, so it's mm -hmm. got a, a lot of room. Get that one if you can. Otherwise, the other two um, are just very small little room. But... You're taking up those <laughs> handicap spots for us handicap people. I'm just saying, it would be great like if uh, you're a family with little kids and you want to be in the shower with your little kid, take the bigger one. Um, but the smaller ones are fine for, you know, but it's nice that they're just a private shower. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the other thing we like? Oh, I like that it's, it's a park feel, like once you're in the park, you feel like, oh, I'm in nature and all this stuff, but really the park is literally located within the city. <laughs> Yeah. It's um, this town of Oakville. Because and there's housing neighborhoods yeah. right around. You can't see a lot of them because of all the trees, but yeah. it's right next to it. You, Very nice housing area, by the way. Right. You. Uh, oh, I need to put the GPS yeah. on. You end up, you know, once you leave the park or go into, it's like all of a sudden you're, there you are in a neighborhood. But it's there kinda, you are. <laughs> it's kind of strange, but what they've said is obviously the city has grown up Start around the park because it never used to be. Tour never used to be like that um, years back so yeah we we would definitely recommend this park if you're in this area uh, and taking the uh, go metro train uh, it's about 30 minutes to downtown Toronto or not downtown Toronto, no it's harbor front 48 Toronto. minutes oh it is 48 okay. yeah, that's what it says online anyway but the there's different go stations around but close to here there's a Bronte uh, Bronte go station which you park this you feel safe um, you don't have to worry about your vehicle it doesn't look like and it's all mm -hmm. kind of gated into but it, it was nice all right
for some reason we like to stop at these places we don't have a bucky's around here so we got to stop at anything that looks big and has a bunch of stores inside and food might as well get fuel on the way right even in the rain we tough it out We found a parking spot. Bonjour. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. Is that over, right? But, huh? He said we're a little over. But... A little over. They put us. They found a spot that they said we could get in. It is crazy busy here in Montreal. Beautiful old town uh, feel to it. Love it so far. Lot to see. And this may be our only day. Better to come and see what you can than not come at all. When we're uh, doing research, we look online and we see all the places that you can go. You, you can easily do that anywhere you go and do your research and find all the main attractions that uh, everybody suggests. But, but then we only got so much time. There's only so much you can do. Right. Not enough hours in the day. And uh, the old town was the most appealing to us. We definitely wanted to see that because we, we both like that kind of thing. Apparently so does a lot of other people. <laughs> this is really cool. And I'm sure we're gonna find some good food, eh? Wait, I didn't, that just came out actually. Mini Vinny 3.0. There's so much I want to do here, but. Not doing a zip line though, I know that. The parking here, by the way, is 35. Canadian dollars and that's for a 12-hour period and this whole area she said is open 24 7 so you can actually park there overnight so if you're in a van it makes it easier because you obviously can't get an RV in there a bigger RV they were a little hesitant about getting us in there as it is so that's a positive to have in the van but if you go over the 12 hours it would be 70 1605, a fur trading post was established by Samuel D. Champlain, where Montreal would eventually grow at the confluence of the St. Lawrence River and the Petite Riviere St. Pierre. Decades later, in 1642, it was founded by French settlers, and at that time, it was called Fort Ville-Marie. Over the years, Montreal slowly developed, and some of the earliest streets included the Rue Notre-Dame, the Rue Saint-Paul, and Rue Saint-Jacques. Oh, great, Michelle. Some of the oldest buildings of this era include Hotel du de Montreal, the Saint Sulpice Old Seminary, and Notre Dame Church, known as the Notre Dame Basilica. This is really cool. It is. I tell you, it's worth coming here just to 
come and walk these areas right here and try all the food. Oh, another wedding. The name Montreal, which was derived from the mountain Mount Royal, gradually replaced the older name of Villa Marie during the early 18th century. The city was also fortified to protect it from the British, as the British and French were rivaling each other for control of North America. The British managed to capture the colony of New France by 1763, and with that, Montreal came under British control. The city managed to retain its French heritage, and is today the largest French-speaking and second largest city in Canada. In 1964, much of old Montreal was declared a historic district. The contrasts of old Montreal are apparent. You can see everything from the stately grace of the Notre Dame Basilica together with forward-thinking restaurants and cutting-edge design shops. They have masks going on in the Basilica right now, and they're not allowing visits until tomorrow between 12 and 4. You, you're thinking about a crepe? Are you looking for crepes? <laughs> oh, I don't have to look far. They're everywhere. French onion soup. I want the, I want the top. This is amazing. The best I've ever had. The best. I never thought you'd ever say that about French onion soup. Oh my. And a big old sirloin. That looks amazing. Yeah. Oh, the food was great. For some reason, this clip brought back memories from the movie Grown Ups with Adam Sandler, where he uses a remote control to speed up traffic. They sold umbrellas in here, and apparently a bunch of people were buying them. You know how to work it. I do. We're going to try to find some coffee. Try to find? You had a place. All right, let's go. I'll never forget this day. <laughs> Everybody walking around with umbrellas. It's kind of cute, actually. Look at huddled together with their umbrella. Oh, awesome. Aren't they so cute? Come over here, buddy. Well, oh, Michelle did the all the... Um, most of the research for this. On the fly, she like found... literally on our drive here. Oh, that was all on the drive here? Yes. Um, she found the restaurant and it was very good. It's excellent. So yes. it's called Modavi. And we highly recommend, however, it is on the pricier side. So just be aware of that. Yeah. But the onion soup. Oh was boy, she's gonna go amazing. on. Amazing. Okay. Definitely get that. All right. And then get the it. Uh, pasta that I had, the oh gnocchi. Amazing. Oh boy. You like that. 40 minute video here, guys. <laughs> and uh, now she found a coffee shop that has desserts too. The end. <laughs> alouette, alouette. I'm a wetta. I'm a, I'm a wetta. This area is just so cool. It's very cool.
kind of a little bit, it reminds me a little bit of Rome, kind of, except Rome had more narrow streets. Is this the place? Where are nope. we going? Uh, right here, Cafe Olimpico. Oh, yeah, right here. Okay, go ahead. Sure, you can cut in front. No problem. Thought you had your nose in it. That and that look very good. They do. I thought we were coming for coffee. What are those? Cafe Olimpico. And the bonuses, they're Italianos. <laughs> very good. Oh, that's pretty down through there. It's nice and dry, honey. <laughs> Messy. Chateau Ramsey. Right now it's a museum and historic building, but it was built in 1705 as a resident of the then governor of Montreal, Claude de Ramsey, and it was proclaimed a historical monument uh, and is the Providence's oldest private history museum. It's closed now, which is why we're standing outside in the rain. <laughs> The night went well staying at the port, and the next morning we just left the van remain parked at the port parking lot and walked back up to the old Montreal area for breakfast at Maggie Oaks, which was very good. And then we stopped at the information center just around the corner for a couple bus tickets to take us around the city to see a few things. You can get a day pass for $11 per person or $7 like a round trip. Yeah. Around trip. We did the day pass that way. We wanted to make some more stops. We can. And it's uh, good for both the bus and the metro train. And we're going to do a bus. And this is the bus stop sign you look for. And I think she was telling us this red sign was kind of a notification because the, of the construction. They moved it here. Yeah. This is what your day pass looks like. We have been hearing about a free festival called the Tam Tam that is held every Sunday at the George Atien Cartier Monument in Mount Royal Park. Its name imitates the sound of drums and refers to the drum circles that form the focal points of the gathering. It was interesting to witness, but it's not something that we would go back for again. <laughs> corner of Marie Anne and St. Laurent. Should be straight ahead. On our next stop, we decided to go to Jean Talon Market. It's one of North America's largest open-air public markets in an area locally known as Little Italy. Anytime we go to a city and they have a Little Italy, <laughs> gotta stop. That's or right. Germany. Italy for my side, Germany yeah. for Michelle's side. We just love to talk to people, especially when there are places that have gone through, you know, been there for generations, the same yeah. family, and you get some of the older people that are still there and working. Just love talking to them because you never know. It's a small world. A lot of people actually immigrated, not only United States, but like Australia and Canada. We found that there's a lot of Italians in Canada. Mm -hmm. We've been seeing it ever since uh, all through Ontario yeah. and to here. So we like to talk to them and you just never know. Just ask where they're from, throw out your name. and. <laughs> 
it gets a small world. That's right. It's kind of like a farmer's market area we're going to right now. What's the right. name of it? You're going to slaughter uh, it? Yep. <laughs> Marché Jean Talon. Marché Jean Talon. Pretty sure we both just slaughtered that, yeah. but you get the picture. So I, I literally just Googled uh, bus Montreal. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it takes me to the main thing. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so the gal, at the tourist information, kept telling us we just wanted to be on bus 55, mm -hmm. whether that's going north or south. Click on there, and this is, this is where you would pick north or south. So now we're going south. Yeah, and tight. then we just got to the stop that is Clark and Jean Talon, if I'm saying that right. So then it says your bus is about three minutes away if it's on time, of course. Hmm. And there's our sign. I saw a unicorn. to get to our van. I told Michelle we should just dance our way through the line, just sidestep. Everybody clap your hands. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my God. We made it. We're rebels. We're rebels. In all defense, he did ask a cop. I did. According to our ticket, we got 10 minutes to get out of here. Got cars parked pretty close to us. I gotta make sure, watch that tail swing. All right, we're good. 10 minutes to get out of here before they charge us an additional $35. And I'll, and then I'll holla if they charge another $35. And there's a line of cars waiting to get out, to pay to get out. So hopefully that doesn't make us late. People let us through. That was nice. There's the ticket. Well, somehow we lucked out. It only charged us thirty-five dollars. Wow. Not quite sure. Is this what she was talking about? Yeah. So there's supposed to be some parking, according to the lady at the information booth, for campers this on the one? other side of the bridge. No, D, and it started with an L. I got it on my phone.
it's a decent campground, but they have right here in the marina, this the water's like right here on the other side of these campers over here. And there's a marina and it costs 550 each to take the ferry right back to where we were. Why did we not stay over there? Because we weren't quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we, we were could. really supposed to, even <laughs> though the girl told us that we could. <laughs> and plus, it wasn't very level where we had to right. park and we were sticking out a little yeah. bit. We just feel better here. We have no electricity in this spot, but uh, he said tomorrow, if we wanted to stay longer, there's likely going to be spots uh, opening yeah. up. We'll just check again. Uh, but tomorrow. they do, yeah, they have a dump station and fresh water. We have plenty of battery. We're really never worried about the electricity so we're just fine we can run everything we want just like when we're on 30 amp so no problem there but i think we're gonna take the ferry over to back, back over. over there <laughs> because we love that area so much the old and montreal part yes yeah and they have good food yes <laughs> and food. maybe oh no the basilica i think it was 4 30 right yeah. and it's 4 30 mm -hmm. right yeah. now yeah Darn it. Oh, well. But anyway, why not? We'll take the ferry over and yeah. enjoy a little bit more yeah. Montreal. We like it here. Maybe you can have a drink since you won't be driving. Hey, you stay away from our lines and don't be uh, gnawing on anything underneath our coach, all right? You hear me, buddy? Okay? You be good. Those marmots are everywhere around this uh, campground. It's We've seen at least six of them since we walked from the uh, from the camper. Does everybody know what that building is straight across there? Right over there. From the Olympics. You know the name of it, Michelle? I do not. Me neither. We were going to go ahead and buy our ticket for our return, but all they sell right now is for their next boat. So you don't have to get your ticket in fear like Michelle was, as if she was in fear that the ticket booth might not be open when we get back. They'll be there until 10 and the last boat going out is at 10. So you can't get your ticket ahead of time. You get it right before the boat, <laughs> the next boat that's going out. <sighs> that was a lot. Yeah, and we're going uphill. Huh? And we're going uphill. They do have a Cirque show here as well, so if you want to see the Cirque show. We've not read anything about it. We know nothing. We haven't heard anything about it, but I know in Vegas the Cirque shows are usually really good. place we ate at, Tavern Gasper. It was very good. My salmon was very good. Yes, and my burger was really good. They didn't have a gluten-free bun, but they had the gluten-free bread that they toasted.
believe hell just froze over, folks. She turned around and did not want to crepe. I about craped. We're ending the night fascinated with the toilet. It has a door that opens like an elevator, and when somebody is done using it, it shuts the door again and cleans itself before the next person. There, now push it. The light's lit up. There you go. I'll hold it. She's done. Now you gotta wait for these lights to turn white. When it turns white, then you can push the button. It might actually clean twice this time. Voila, highlight of our trip, the self-cleaning toilets. You gotta do it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.